Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's JMC. Um, well, I'm sorry I haven't made any videos lately, but um, this one's um, a makeup tutorial for a smoky eye, for um, New Year's Eve, for any party. So um, stay tuned, hope you like it. Hi guys, I've gone ahead and done my foundation and my pressed powder. I apologize for the lighting because um, I'm using artificial light because the sun is set. So um, yeah, let's just get ahead. Um, it looks a bit funny, but I've actually put in some uh, loose powder under the eyes to catch any fallouts because it's a, it's a smoky look. So we'll just get started. Um, for today, I'm just going to use colors from the e.l.f. Beauty Eye Manual, which is um, uh, Eyes, Lips and Face, and it's an Everyday Eye Edition palette. Um, yeah, so I love the colors in there. So I'm just going to basically, you can use um, any of the colors that you've got. You don't have to go all out and buy these, this palette. So, okay, yeah, so we're just, just going to grab a, a brown as a base. So we're going to take this one over here. This one, medium brown. So I'm gonna take some of that, oops, and we're just going to um, roughly put it where the socket is, just to shade it a little bit. Just round like strokes, and then um, blend it towards the brow. With another brush, um, we're going to use the purple over here, um, the warmer purple, and then we'll also use the cooler purple. So we'll start with the warmer purple, and um, and we'll just go where the brown is, was put in. Okay, so we're going to add on the darker, cooler purple. We could use um, um, an eyeshadow applicator for that. We're going to use this one right here. So we're just going to do Of a shape of a V, so you slowly blend it in. It would help if you're a little bit light handed, so and you build on the color slowly rather than if you have too much of a color and it's hard to clean up. So And then um, we're going to do the other eye and we're going to come back, all right? So Okay, so I've done the other eye and basically what we're going to do is going to blend out um, and soften the line so it's not so harsh with the same purple that we've used earlier on, like over here. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add on black. Okay, so with the eyeshadow applicator again. So we're going to use the black and we're going to do the same. We're going to do it in a, a V so it really accentuates and sort of makes the eyes appear deeper set because with Asian eyes we're usually um, a bit puffier. and. Um, Okay, and then we'll do the same for the other eye as well. Okay, 
just leave the front of the eyelids um, clean so we're gonna add on some colors down there so so that the whole eye is not just too dark okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to put on a highlight color under the brow bones so it looks three-dimensional highlight color we're going to pick this one over here sort of like a taupey color but it's got a bit of glitters in it so yeah just pick some of it up and then just put it right under your brows And it just so it cleans it up a little bit. All right. And then um, we'll also put some of that in our tear duct. So it lightens up the front of the eyes. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the eyeshadow. It's almost done. Okay. And then um, we're going to Pat some of that um, highlight color also in the front over here so that our um, crease would pop and that would won't, it wouldn't be too one dimensional and all dark. So, so we can actually um, do our eyeliner now. I'm just gonna use my Pelgon Tong, so I like to line very close to the I like to line very close to the lash line, so it makes my lashes appear fuller and it, yeah, yeah. And then we elongate, pull out the liner a little bit so it's a bit more dramatic and we give it just the slightest wing. Okay, so and then we'll do the liner at the bottom as well. Um, probably go to and we'll stop somewhere where the iris is. Okay, so okay, and so we'll do the other eye and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've done the other eye um, for the liner and then we're just going to pick up. Um, a bit of the dark purple and we're gonna smudge the liner a little bit like so okay, um, that done and we're just going to um, make the eyes pop just a little bit more because it's the party season it's probably you're heading out to a New Year's party New Year's Eve party so um, what I've got here is actually a NYX eye pencil in glitzy gold um, from NYX so basically it's lying the waterline or the tear ducts in the front
with the gold. Okay, so we're gonna call our lashes. I came back and I've put on my false eyelashes and I've um, tried to join it with my natural ones with mascara and basically I uh, I think it's a fun time to put on lashes because um, you can only get away with it usually such big lashes I mean like you can get away with it on Halloween Christmas and New Year's Eve so why not um, and then um, what we're gonna do next is just contour the face Um, we're going to put on some blush. So our face is done. And then we're just going to put on lips. Um, for strong smoking eyes, I suggest um, a more neutral nude lip so that it doesn't fight for attention okay. with the eyes. And then we're just going to put on um, some lipstick. So, But before that, I'd like to smudge it in a little bit with a lip brush. So that after you've eaten or had something to drink and the lip lipstick has worn off, you won't be left with this embarrassing red line around your lips. So for lipstick, I'm just going to use a nude color. Um, I've got one from Rimmel which is called Birthday Slut. It's probably upside down so anyways, yeah birthday slut from Rimmel. Okay. Um, that is the look so I hope you enjoyed it um, thank you so much for watching I'll see you the next time happy new year